Oh, a very good trick. The one which you would use to replace thumb around reverse for sure. A lot. Yellow spinner. You're on penstock and today I will show you how to do a pretty cool and very useful trick, which is not so hard to learn. At least it seems to be much easier than its normal variation for me and for many other pen spinners. That's why I put video tutorial for fingerless thumb around reverse before FLTA normal. The trick looks like this. During is performing a pen makes circle motion clockwise from thumb flap around your thumb, obviously, without any pushing of any of your other fingers. Obviously, you see, it has fingerless in its name. It means you don't need fingers to do it. Pretty silly joke. Your mod should be moving by your wrist's motion, that's the main point. At the end of the trick you may land your pen mod in slots 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, or back to thumb flap. I will show you how to land it in 1, 2 or 2, 3. In fact, it doesn't play a big role. Doesn't matter which slot you would use to land the mod for learning. They all have relatively same difficultness. And in the future you will use all of them anyway. Maybe I wouldn't recommend to learn it landing in 3, 4. It is traditionally not a good choice to understand concept of new tricks in pen spinning. Ok, so let's get started. First of all, take your mod in thumb flap close to one of the tips and bigger part looking up on the outer side of your palm. Your wrist is turned palm up at a certain angle, somewhere between palm side and palm up. Hold the mod firmly, but don't squeeze it. This would be the starting position for the trick. Now you need to do such circle motion with your wrist. First you pull it towards yourself and a bit up, then push it forward and a bit down, and then up, returning the back to initial position. Watch closely and repeat this movement after me without a mod first. Ok, now take the mod back in slot and do the same with it. As I told before, you don't need to squeeze it too much in thumb flap. It should move freely and if everything goes correct, when you pull the wrist towards yourself, you will see that the mod sways a bit. This way you are going to give it initial inertia to twist around your thumb by swaying it. Try to sway your mod in thumb flap. It is pretty important to be able to do it easily. Now, push wrist forward sharp enough at the same time releasing the mod from thumb flap. Just loosen grip a bit. You need to move thumb aside. First of all, you need to learn how to make pen mod move around thumb by pushing the wrist forward. It's ok to drop it a lot, although pen spinning is all about dropping mods. You should learn to be not afraid of losing thumb flap. After you are ok with that, begin to try to catch your mod. For that you need to move wrist up again, trying to lead pen around your thumb. As you can see, I make FLTA reverse with a very slight movement of my wrist. Actually, all I do is moving only thumb. Eventually, you will need how to do it like that. It looks much better than waving your hands all around your place. But for starting, the way I showed you how to do fingerless thumb around reverse will serve you just fine. Learning it is going to be much easier using the heavy mod with a good momentum. Today I show you this trick with a new factory-made writable pen mod, Flower B4. Subscribe to Penstock to make sure you don't miss the full review of this pen mod, which I'm going to do in the next video.
And after that, I'm going to make a video tutorial for a simple linkage with today's trick, FLTA reverse. Very good looking, very useful. Push the bell button, don't miss it. Other linkages and combos are gathered in a separate playlist on my channel. Check it out after you learned this trick. Also, follow me and Penstock on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Share this video with your friends and write down in the comment section below this video what do you think is going to be the next simple linkage tutorial? It is pretty easy to guess. Till the next time, I'm Alex Sukhov. May the style be with you. Bye.